what an epic day that's been. <sighs> I'm absolutely beat. Started off at the church in the sea. Because I've wanted to get it where the tide is really high up. Now unfortunately, it didn't come up as high as I would have wanted. I wanted all the rocks that are surrounding the church to be covered in water so I could really isolate the church. Got some interesting photographs nonetheless, a couple of time lapses, had a good chat with a few people there. So Lynn pointed out this location to me. Thanks Lynn. Now I've been here before. It's a small town called Nantil, but there's a fence that leads you right down to this little area here. Lovely and peaceful, a little picnic bench. Three boats, unfortunately they have um, rather ugly mooring posts. Nonetheless, that background is absolutely spectacular. Now I'm tempted to say that Mount Snowden in the background with what appears to be a white toupee. It probably isn't and I've been frantically trying to download an app that would identify it for me. You have a lovely valley, you have a lovely small hill in the middle of the valley, then you have the mountain towards the back. The light's nice and soft because it's very cloudy. I'd like to stay here for sunset, which is in about three hours, but I'm not going to do that. I don't think there's going to be any decent colour. Uh, plus I am absolutely beat. How long have I been up? Yeah, I've been up 12 hours and I've been, as I started off at the Church in the Sea, I went to a couple of more places. I'll put names here. Didn't get anything from them, apart from Envious at the beach, which was covered in people uh, consuming all amounts of beverages. So I finished there, drove to this place, about half an hour away, parked just up the road and as I pulled in, I realised that I'd been here before, I think twice. Shocking memory, absolutely shocking memory. But it's absolutely postcard, picture perfect. It really is. You've got some absolutely wonderful trees. You've got a leaf, you've even got a little lone white um, house in the background. I keep thinking it's raining, but it's pond skippers by the absolute thousand, and the midges are just starting to come out. There's not a inkling of any blue in the sky. No idea, helicopter, it's the bloody police, shouldn't be here. The main photograph I've taken, which I'll show you now, is just over the other side of, of, of just, I've just skirted around that little fence there. Now I know that helicopter, it's not coming for me, what I'm thinking. Three boats leading right into the valley, a bit of a scrubby foreground. Here, but I've I've done a panorama. Oh, no point doing any long exposures because the sky will just turn to turn to mush. Some nice grasses in the in the front. The only problem I've got when I did the photograph is that looks like a mountain rescue. The only problem I've got is composed oh, as I will. There are some grasses just in the front that are just peeking in the base of the boat. Brilliant. Yeah, it was lovely, but it's getting lovely and peaceful. All I can hear is the babbling brook. Sheep to my right, no other sign of any human activity at all. Midges are eating me alive. That's amazing. It looks like he's got a little toupee on. Yeah, so a lovely little location. Lovely little location. Yeah, I like, I'm, I'm beginning to like the lovely short vlogs. So I may do more of these. Keep it under five minutes. 
yeah but highly recommended highly recommended lovely and tranquil this will be spectacular in autumn when all the sides of the mountains are golden brown so i'm going to sign off for there let's roll the pictures and i'll see you Thank you.